While in the process of creating or modifying elements in your building model, temporary dimensions are displayed in Revit architecture. These temporary dimensions allow you to accurately place elements in your project. To illustrate this, let's look at our data sets. I have both files open to the floor plan view with the windows tiled. In the floor plan views, we can see a model with some walls and other geometry placed. When I select components such as the window on the north side of the building, you will see temporary dimensions displayed. Many of the components of temporary dimensions are always shown in blue to indicate that they are interactive. So I can move my window accurately by simply clicking on the temporary dimension text and typing a new value. For instance, I will change the distance to the left wall to be 20 feet 6 meters in the metric file. Press enter to accept. The window will move to reflect my decision and the opposite dimension will update. When I click back in the view, the window will no longer be selected and the temporary dimensions will go away. I will reselect the window in both data sets. In the metric file, you will notice that the dimensions show the distance from the nearest edges of the perpendicular walls to the edges of the window. In the imperial file, the defaults are slightly different. Here, the temporary dimensions show to the nearest perpendicular walls at their center to center of the window. These settings may be changed, but let's look at how we can move them individually first. When you need to change where a temporary dimension are measuring to and from, you may click on square solid blue grips to move the witness lines. There are two ways to accomplish this. One technique allows you to cycle between the available witness line preferences for walls. Notice when I continue to click, each time the witness line will move from one edge to the other and to the center. I also have the ability to drag a witness line by clicking and holding the left mouse button as I move my cursor to another element, such as the far wall. If I want to cycle between available references in the window, I may again click on a grip to move the witness line from the edge to the center or to the far edge. Once I have a dimension I would like to hold, I can then type in the value for the desired distance. If I click back in the canvas, the temporary dimensions will no longer be displayed. A unique feature of temporary dimensions are that they will remember your selections the next time you highlight that same object. This is a subtle but convenient feature. I would like to highlight one last capability with temporary dimensions. You do have the ability to make temporary dimensions permanent. Each dimension string will have a symbol below the numeric value which you can pick to make that string permanent. Permanent dimensions, like all other annotation families, are only visible in the current view. Notice that after I have made a dimension permanent, its appearance slightly changes. You are seeing the dimension terminators at the scale of the current view. The value is still set to be large enough to be readable at any scale while selected. If I deselect the window, then select it once again, a temporary and permanent dimension value are displayed. Both will equally serve to locate the element accurately within our building model.